Hello guys, welcome back to the Khajiit Caravan. How you all doing? How you doing it? Wow, what a busy morning. Yep, just finished work and I've had tons of requests for tutorials. That's not a problem, not an issue at all. Of course I'll do that for you, man. Anything I haven't covered, anything I kind of like, because, you know, we're all learning this together at the same kind of rate anyway, but um, I'll uh, go through it. I don't mind doing tutorials at all for you. I've got kind of like a, a basic understanding, but like, again, if anyone wants to like correct me, if you think, oh, hang on a minute, that's not right. I'm sure it's like this. By all means, do it, right? Um, I'm going to go through what I know, what I've kind of my understanding of the game, right, so far. So... Let me just check my little checklist here of things to uh, talk about. Sorry, I know I'm making the right bodge of this, but there you go. Right, so, first things first. Right, okay, so, repairing, right. Could I show you how to repair buses? Yes. Right, Mr. Eugene, there we go, Like you requested this, so um, I'll, uh, there you go. Call out your name if I'm. <laughs> hope you don't mind. Um, right? Could I? Could you show us how to get hired mechanics to repair the buses, please? Right? Yes. Of course I can. Right? It's literally. It's so easy. Like I don't. They don't do. You don't have to do nothing. Yeah. You know, so you, basically, you go out here. Let's go to the garage, shall we? And I'll show you how it's done. It's not like overly complicated. It's, it's fairly straightforward, you know. So, all we do. Again, I'll try and keep it as simple as possible. Like it, it's, you know, it, sometimes I might explain stuff in a way. I'm not very good at explaining, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'll give it my best kind of shot. Right, so, come out here, right? And just, as you can see, oh my God, I see Dave. Dave's been busy. Bloody Dave. Like, I keep telling him, he's, like, he's been like stealing, but, you know, he's been, what he's been doing, he's been pulling up to these little villas and been taking like people's violins and paintings and selling them on that. Little bastard, I have to have a word with him about that. No, um, anyway, you come here, and uh, he's growing weed as well, look, fuck me. Right, you come here and basically click the bus repair, right, screen. And now, right, this will be a list of your buses here, right? Ones that like need repairing kind of thing. Yeah, um, right. So, what you do is select the bus you want. I've got to be careful now because I don't want to take no one off no routes because I've got people assigned to routes at the moment, so I don't want to... I will, I'll show you how you do it anyway. So, this example, let's fix this uh, this one. It's a player bus, so let's just do that one, right? Now, as you can see, oil, tyres, V-bell, all good. It doesn't need doing so. Press R1 to scroll across. If you notice, the only thing wrong with this is uh, body damage. Uh, so, the 70, the, the, they're all 30% missing is just body damage. So, that's nice and easy. Now, press R1 again. Repair. There you go. You click X on that. All right, let me just see if it'll let me... I don't want to fuck anything up, so... Right, yeah. So now, please select the parts which should be repaired. So you just kind of, with square button, with square button, okay? You select the body damage, there you go. Right, and then just click X on that, right? To accept it. Now, as you can see, right, it'll give you... The repair will take 14 hours and 43 minutes, right? It'll be ready on Friday at quarter four. The day and time will be listed right here, right? So 14 hours from now will be Friday at quarter two, whatever, yeah? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So that's that, right? That, and then just click X on that, and then it'll, it'll go into your um, thingy. Now, um, if I wanted to, so say you haven't got mechanics, for example, obviously this is what you do, then you just select that and go R1, R1, not repair, go to external repair. And that's where you obviously send it out to a, uh, a mechanic, right? Uh, now, that would be that. It's, that's if you don't have mechanics. But obviously, when you have mechanics, just click repair on that. That is literally it. And your mechanics just. If you've got like, um, let's just say you've got indicators broken and um, V belt needs changed, all that, all those things will appear here on the list, will appear on here on the list, yeah? Then you just click square, 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 what you want to fix, and the time will obviously go up because it will take longer to fix, you know what I mean? Um, it's not too much, it's not great, yeah? But what I have noticed though, the more mechanics you have, the quicker it, they, they do it. Obviously, it makes sense because you've got one mechanic doing like V belt, fucking tire change, brake line, all that. It takes it takes and takes them longer. One person doing it, but the more mechanics you have, the better. Now, components, right? Let's say, for example, the toilet's fucked, the Wi Fi's fucked, the wipers fucked, the air conditioning's gone. You're going to need for an external for internal repair for your mechanics. You're going to have to have those parts available to them. All right. Now. All this information can be viewed on your phone as well, by the way. So let's look at our inventory, right, which is the square box icon here. This is inventory, right? Um, it gives you, like, obviously, this food. So, right, spare parts. Here we go. 
Now, obviously, I've got loads of, not loads, but I've got like 10, and as you can see, I've got 10, 10, 10, everything, and the engines will be here actually soon, not, not a couple of days, I think the engines will be here. But yeah, I've got contracts for these parts to be delivered to me every, I'll, I'll go into that in a minute, but yeah. So I've got plenty of parts available, apart from the engines, obviously, which will come in like the next couple of days. I've got the engines coming later than the rest of them, but that, don't worry about that, they'll be on the way. Yeah, so yeah, I've got enough components available. Now the body damage, you don't need any components for that, it's fine, it's just like a, a panel beater, just they're going to sort that out, knock all the damage out and fix it, not a problem, yeah? Um, tell me if I'm going too fast and you know you understand everything, that's all good. Right, so now, obviously let's go back, let's take this back to the start where we've got no mechanics, right? Because actually I want to hire another one anyway, so let's go, let's imagine we've got no mechanics, so let's go right back to the start. I'm sure you guys know, but I'm going to go right through it from the scratch, right? So, uh, employees are in here, aren't they? Yeah. Right, cool, employees, okay. So, mechanics, so you can see I've got two of them, right? I'm paying them a grand a month, which is, to be fair, it's decent. For 95% loyalty, I mean, reliability, that is fucking decent, that is. A uh, good price, that is. So, if you want to pay rise, no problem. Um, anyway, so... Oh, job market, let's go to job market and let's uh, have a look for mechanics. Should we driver, 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 driver? By the way, these filters here, all employees, drivers, these are not filters to filter out what you want to buy. These are filters, the ones you currently have. The, there's no filters on the job market. You have to go to the job market, but there's no filters as such. You just got to look down the list. There's no filters on this. this uh, these filters are for the ones you own, all right? One, two, three, and four. They're, these are the ones you own, okay? Just make that clear in case people get confused. Like. Right, the job markets, we'll look at, so we've got driver, 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 keep going, mechanic, there we go, mechanic, 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 loads of mechanics available to buy, and a guide down the bottom there, and guide, 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 right, so, obviously you want, this dude right here is absolutely mint, he is level five, right, five of a hundred, as you can see, like, obviously hundred is the maximum level, um, his reliability, which is the dartboard sign, is 100% out of 100. Like, literally, like, this guy's solid. He'll be here every day. He'll work till he dies, basically. <laughs> you know, uh, without taking days off. He'll just be there 100% of the way. So, yeah, look at that. Phil Berger. <laughs> Phil Berger, that's hilarious. Yeah, okay, well, I'm going to take him. Jesus, he's too good to be true. Do you know what? Sometimes it's worth just taking these and just sacking another one. That you got, you know, but always go for reliability. I always go for reliability. You cannot beat that because they won't moan. They won't, you know, they're less chance to ask for pay rise, they're not lazy, they won't phone in sick, they won't, they'll just be there, you know, just reliable. So go for them always. Try and get as close to you can as the, like this guy here, like this woman here, right? Samira Brock, yeah, Brockman, right? 26, 12% reliability, Jesus, she, she'll phone in sick all the time, she will hardly ever be here. So yeah, we want to go for Phil Berger then, definitely. Uh, grand, yeah, fine, no problem, we'll take that. There you go, you'll start off working for tomorrow, that's fine, cool. So, uh, let me see if I can skip. No, actually, let me just leave it there for a minute. Yeah, so we'll start tomorrow. Okay, so we've got our mechanic. Let's just say it is tomorrow, right? We've got our mechanic now. So then we go back out here and go over to... Oh, no, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The next step is not that. Not yet, not yet. The next step will be get the parts, okay? So, come to here. Contracts, all right? Scroll to spare parts services. Right, so, because uh, I've taken everything, you, you know, there's nothing, no contracts available, so I've got every contract going. I've just bought every spare part. So what'll happen is, is you'll get a contract. I can't even show you examples, so I've got them all, <laughs> unfortunately. So you're going to, you get, um, let me just see if I can change it. Uh, no, but I can kind of show you what it's like. Anyway, so you'll click on, let's say, for example, uh, lights. You've got what lights, wipers, tires, and like that. Right, I want the wipers, right? Now it's 59, pa 59 euros. Uh, right for the delivery, all right, of this, and it's 100. So basically, the part costs 114 for a light, right? And it's 59 euros to deliver it to you, okay? The contract every seven days that's what it costs 59, 59 euros for this contract to deliver um, light 10 lights every seven days. There you go, as you can see, right? 10 lights every seven days, and it's gonna cost me 59 in, in like um, uh, courier charges, yeah. And the actual part itself is 114, so 114 times 10 plus the 59, yeah? Okay, so you have a choice of, when you hit this, you'll have a choice of, um, you can't, I can't do my one because I've already got the contract, but you'll have a choice of like 7 days, 14 days, 30 days, etc., right? Now you choose how often you want this, this, this stock replenished, okay? 
so then you could change your desired amount as well so you could have like one you could have one light delivered to you every week if you want or you can have 10 lights delivered to you every week it's entirely up to you by pressing l1 r1 you change how many lights you want delivered to you yeah so we're just going to cancel that there and then just click x all right so that's that's all you do and then that contract's done there you go as you can see a lot these are all every week i'm getting 10 of everything delivered to me apart from the engines because i've got the engines don't tend to, you know what, so the engines don't tend to break down that often. So I've got these on a 30 month contract, uh, sorry, 30 month, 30 day contract, so a monthly contract. And it costs me, they're eight grand as well, they're quite expensive. So I've got two of them coming to me every month for a 105 pound delivery charge. But yeah, whatever. All right. So that once you've got your parts now, once your parts have been delivered to you, let's just give it a week for them to, you know, for them to kick in. They, they will show you the next date for delivery as well, by the way. They will say to you like, uh, look, my next delivery is on the 20th of October, yeah, it's now the 14th, so six days time, I'll get another 10 lights delivered to me, yeah, okay, all making sense so far? Right, cool, and then you come to your computer here, your inventory, and you can see how many spare parts, you, how much parts you have, yeah, there it all is, and like, again, you can view this on the phone by pressing the options button and go into your inventory right here, it's the same screen, literally, all right, so all these features are available on the phone, all right? even your contracts, everything, right? So you can go to this one, there you go, all your contracts, same thing, all right? All good, now, now, as long as you have the parts, if you don't have the parts, you can't do no shit repairs, you can't do no repairs on your mechanics, so you've got all the parts, and basically, just what I said before, just to reiterate, you go over to your garage, um, you wanna make sure the bus you're repairing as well, just a note, the bus you're repairing can't be for any contract, like, it can't be any scheduled for any, like, um, trip or nothing it has to be a free bus otherwise you get a message saying um blah 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 um the driver needs his bus and all this kind of stuff so you want to avoid that so just unassign this bus to the bus you want to repair unassign it from everything like not if don't even have it as a player bus you can't have it like it's got to be just a free bus right i must stress that as well yeah and you come over here and then yeah bus repair like i said which bus you want just let the bus you want to repair go to and you click repair here all right this repair option you want not the external this one this is the repair like locally like right here in this garage in this garage that's one you want select that and then click on what you want you know and as you can see like this is a good example look this bus i've got assigned to a um a trip a, a journey already so when i click repair on the right hand screen look saturday this bus we need this bus by on by Saturday at five thirty in the morning. This will actually remind you as well, so you ain't got to worry about that. Um, so if we can get all these repairs done by before the Saturday, for example, there you go. Look, that take five hours. That's not too bad to be fair to do all that. So yeah, if you can get all those done, which we can do, I can I can get this bus repaired and back to the 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 schedule by the Saturday. Awesome. Look, I can actually do it because it says Friday, uh, five hours. There you go. So yes, that, that's how you repair, right? That's, that's the first um, question. I hope that covers, I hope that covers your, uh, answers your question. Uh, I hope that does, yeah. If it doesn't, then just by all means hit me up and I'm more than happy to do these videos for you and you know, blah, 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 blah. Not an issue at all. Uh, right, the second question, just give me a sec. I'm not very uh, prepared for this, am I? Right, help a beginning with insurances. Okay, which uh, buyer for vehicle loss? Okay, right, so insurances, here we go. Let's go to the uh, contracts again. All right, so vehicle insurances. Okay, you're going to get a list like this. There we go, ba -ba 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 -ba. right? Now, obviously, you have third party, third party fire and theft, and then fully comp. So the 25 percenters are going to be third party only, right? So they're going to be like, and the, the, the first column tells you 25% will be like third party, yeah? Um, and then the, the percentage is like the interest rates or whatever, the, their little bit on top of it, yeah? So that'll be like 30%, they're gonna charge on top their little their rates or whatever, yeah? Uh, paperwork, whatever. They're gonna charge that little as well on top of it. So it won't be 200 pound a month per vehicle, it'll be something like 236 or whatever it is, yeah? So but that price is per month, per vehicle, okay? So now 50% is going to be third party fire and theft. There you go. This, I'm just using this as a like, kind of example as to what it would be, you know, on this, but obviously in this game, I don't think anything catches fire, but <laughs> let's just say that for now, right? So that'd be 50%, yeah? So, um, and then obviously the one, you, the one you want to go for is the bit more expensive one. Well, it's up to you, whatever, but 
um, as you can see, three different prices here. So we've got 600, 700, 800. Now, the 600 pound one says, oh, yeah, that's cheap, isn't it? But yeah, it's 30% interest on top of that. Then the 20% is obviously 700. It's, it's more to pay a month and less interest and so on and so on, yeah? And then finally is the fully common, the one, the one I have, which I can't select because I've got it already, is this one here, is 100%. That's what that, that to me that's the only way to go 100% obviously now I'm paying and as you can see this is a good example look the hundred percenters uh, I've gone for the 1200 one this one here I, I don't know if you can see it's grayed out it's the second one down it's 20% interest right it's 1200 pound a month but as you, actually as you actually see the actual price I'm paying is 1247.56 a month so there's a little interest the, the extra on top of it yeah so yeah in my opinion 100% is the best way to go so I've got that one at the moment uh, and I'm paying 1,247.56 euros per month per vehicle. Now I've got like, I think five, four or five vehicles. So I'm paying that five times over, you know? So that's my insurance. That's how you do that. Now the losses are, these are for the vehicles, right? And the losses are for the drivers, all right? So the drivers basically, I'm guessing, okay, this is, bearing in mind, it's my understanding of you, all right? So feel free to correct me, no problem if, if I'm wrong, right? Um, I've, I've, I've obviously not Googled this, I've just based this on my playing of the game because I've been playing it loads and stuff like that. So anyway, right, obviously there's no percentage on this because fair enough, this is like body, this is like um, insurance. So when the driver has a crash, let's just say, I've, I'm guessing the 40% would be like, okay, so he's, he's health, it's like a health insurance. So 40%, it will be like, um, I don't know, say he's got like a couple of broken arms or something, he's unable to drive the bus. So, yeah, that kind of thing. 60%, he's got like fucking brain tumors or something. And then 80%, no, I suppose that that's 80%, isn't it? It depends how severe the accident is and covers his health insurance, basically, you know? And that's, per, again, it's per month, per driver as well. And obviously, they don't have a, they don't have a 100% option. It'd be like total death. The guy just goes through the fucking through the windscreen, down the cliffs, into the fucking ocean. Yeah, so we haven't got that option. But that's basically what that is, yeah? So that covers that. Um, and, well, the third one, okay, shuttle services, okay, Right, this is a good question, uh, Eugene. This is a good question, my friend. Um, now, it, it's something I had to kind of work out. And I, to be honest, I kind of have to blag this. I'll show you how I do it. I know it's not like orthodox, but it, it works for me, okay? So with the shuttle services, um, you don't actually know. Let's go to do a shuttle service, actually. Right, the main problem with shuttle services is, not the actual shuttle service itself, is the fact that you, we can't get no info on the bus. I haven't found a screen where um, it shows the bus info and how many passengers your bus can hold and all that kind of stuff. That kind of like important info isn't kind of anywhere. If you go to the fleet management, right, yeah, you can select the player vehicle, but you can't actually click vehicle details. Even if you've got a new vehicle, you can't, there's no, there's no vehicle details. So you... Okay, for example, the BB4, how many passes does this hold? I, I can't tell because when I go into it, I just need to buy it. There's no, there's no other thing, just, it tells you, yeah, oil change, or it does, you know, but it doesn't tell you how many passages this will hold, which is kind of like you need this information. The reason you need this information is when you press the orders and you go to the shuttle services, uh, new orders, sorry, right, it tells you right here on the left-hand side, look, 10 passengers, 11 passengers, and 21 passengers, right? Now, I can tell you now, this 21, you're going to fail if you take the minibus. You will fail, right? Now, this is how I do it, right? And this is just because I've been, just through playing the game, I've kind of uh, worked, I've discovered these things, right? Now, I know this might sound silly, but this is the only way for now to do this, right? Just bear with me, all right? So, open these doors. I know for a fact this minibus right here can take 19 passengers maximum. 19 maximum. And the way I know that is through pure failure, because I took this out first. I didn't look at the number of passengers. I just took the shuttle service, and it must have been about 26 passengers when I first done it, right? I got there, and I had to leave like nine of them behind, or whatever it was. I can't remember the number. I'm shit at math at the moment, but uh, what, that's seven behind, yeah. I had to leave them behind, and that's had to kind of... You don't fail. You still get XP, but you just get knocked for it as well. So, basically, you just count the seats. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's literally that easy. So if you want to know how many, um, what, when you take your bus, what bus to take and how many um, shuttle passengers you can take, well, there's your answer right there. I know it seems like a real dumbass way and they should have come some kind of bus info explaining this, um, but they don't. So you just kind of got to wing it. And literally, it is that, 19 passengers. Yeah, I know this bus holds 19 passengers just by... 
And that's only because of trial and error. And I've been thinking, hold on a minute. I, so I took that one I told you and I thought, hold on, if there's 26, let me just check. And I counted on the bus and it was the balance of what I left behind. It was exactly that. And it is 19 passengers. So yeah, I can confirm 100% that's what it is. So when you get the Lion City bus, you can count. Um, just get it out ready. Just kind of, I don't think anyone's using it. Let me have a look, shall we? See if anyone's using that. Uh, not in use at the moment. Is it going to be in use? Let me just, before I do this, I don't want to fuck up my schedules. Hold on. Just bear with me. Actually, while I'm going here, I can just check on the phone, can't I? <laughs> right, what's my schedules? Um, so Lion City is going to be... Uh, no one's using Lion City. Cool. So I can spawn it right now then. Excellent. Just what I want to see. So grab the old Lion City. Let's make that player vehicle. Bang, there he is. That's... There you go. This is just for your reference, guys. I'm doing this. I'm doing the legwork for you. So you've got this this bus, for example. So what we've got here: two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-one. Oh no, let's just do thirty and leave that odd one. Leave that one to last. Thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six. 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60. So 61 passengers this can hold. There you go. It's official. 61. So if you're taking a shuttle service with more than, I don't know, let's just say 29 people, you're going to need to take this bus probably because, yeah, the other mini buses um, are smaller than this anyway. So anything over 19, you're going to have to take this bus basically then, I think. So, yeah, there you have it, right? That's, that's how you know how many... Uh, passengers see it's one of those things that called me out as well um when i first done a shuttle like i say it called me out i didn't pay no attention to um the passengers which you should be doing really uh, you should pay attention to this see 10 passengers 11 so I, I don't fall for that no more i'll make sure you see so yeah the minibuses can do the 10 11s no problem you know Cool. I hope I've, um, like I said, I hope I've explained myself. I know sometimes I tend to like blah, 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 and ramble on and blah, 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 whatever, but um, I speak fast as well, so I've got to slow it down. Yeah, so that's that's why, um, yeah, that's that. That's that answer. I hope that's that answered. Uh, right, okay, yeah, this bloody thing, yeah. Speed traps, cameras, crashes, what is, what's going on with that, yeah. Again, another thing the game doesn't really explain to you. Without just playing the game, you won't really kind of get a, a feel for it. you just got to play it and... Right, so I don't even now I don't know what the limit is on it. <clears throat> Pardon me. So if you come to statistics right here, which is this screen, and also remember you've got it right here as well. It's the pie chart looking one there. Alright, okay, it's on your everything's on your phone, so you have to keep coming back to the office. I'm just doing this now because I'm here. So anyway, right, statistics, right. You can have to if you quickly look at this, I can't, again, this is another screen where you can't scroll down. I don't know why, right? You're, obviously, you can scroll the screen, but you can't with these controls. I don't know what, I don't know why they can't allow you to scroll down. But anyway, so we can only look at the first top three because it won't let me scroll the screen down. Anyway, so if you look at mine, if you kind of look, this is, these are the summaries. After, you know when you finish a route, it gives you the summary, right? So basically, <clears throat> my last one was the uh, bike rental to Magna. This is the uh, shuttle service, right, to the bike rental place, right? So I had two accidents, as you can see. Uh, radar traps, none. Um, but my total rating was 87%, which awarded me 1,067 XP, right? So that right there is telling me... Um, let me just make sure everything else was okay. Bus, bus status was 71%. Right, all these things you've got to take in consideration, yeah? Because the passengers... I don't know why passengers get pissed off with a broken down bus, but... Right, so the bus stays so the same. Now, I'm not sure if this factors in, but the Wi-Fi service was 100%, so they're happy with that. Uh, sanitary, 100%. Uh, air conditioning was 100%. And food and beverage was 100%. Yes, another thing as well. Just quickly, I just quickly want to touch on this. Food and beverage, right? Just get it all the time. Just get maximum amount of food and beverage a time, right? Just just make sure it doesn't run out ever. Just have it all the time because I thought it was just for the um, the tours, but actually, it's for it's for the shuttle services as well. I'm not sure if it applies to the regular services. I'm not sure. I think it does. I think it just applies for everything. So just have it just for maximum XP and happiness, you know, and better driver rating as well. So anyway, so as you can see, I've had two accidents. I've got a rating of uh, 87%, right? I've had accidents and radar traps before, and it's, and it's still awarded me XP. Now, the reason, in this case, uh, Eugene, right, is, is, is you asked the question. In this case, right, 19 crashes, I think, is a bit too much, and two speed traps, no. 
I think that's why you've got no XP, right? I think anything up to like five, uh, I don't think it's, it's even as much as that. I think anything of like three accidents, you don't get no XP. Like it just, and definitely you don't get XP for the speed traps as well. It's kind of like it just stings you for XP. It just takes away all your XP because you've had too many crashes for a start. Like 19 is way too many, you know, I know that. And you've had two speed traps on top of that. So, I mean, like you're not going to get XP for that. I've had this before as well. So, um, I've had, like, as you can see, I've had two accidents here on this one, right? On the first one, the top list there, two accidents, I've still got XP and 87%. So they will let you have a certain amount of accidents. Now, what is the accident class as, right? In my opinion, I've had it all. I think the one, that just the worst one you could do is a full frontal bang, like going like 90 miles an hour, like that instantly just wipes out your XP. I'm sure it does, right? Um, little... Uh, everything classes a crash. If a car, if AI pulls out and you hit the side of you, even if it's not your fault, it classes it as an accident, right? If you clip the fucking uh, barrier, it's an accident. Right, I know that for a fact, right? If you just like, going over a speed hum too fast, that, that's, that's okay, it doesn't class an accident. But if you hit that bus on anything, that classes an accident, yeah? Just before I let you know. But having f too many of those, it'll let you have, like, like I say, let, as you can see, it'll let you have, like, I've had a couple then, it's still giving me XP and it's still awarding me 87%, which is pretty good, yeah? Uh, so my guess is, this is only a guess as well, educated guess, I think up to, like, five accidents, anything over that, you ain't getting no XP. You just not get no XP. And especially not for a full frontal going, like, 90 into the back of someone. You're getting nothing straight off of that. And in your case, Eugene, 19 accidents, no, no chance, and two speed traps now. Now, I'm not sure about just speed traps and no accidents. I don't know how that, I'll have to try that out, actually. I haven't tried that out yet, just, you know, so you don't get no accidents, but you get speed traps. If that takes away the XP, I don't know. I'll have to try that again. Um, but, yeah, hitting curbs, full frontal, uh, spinning out. Now, spinning out, if you spin and don't hit nothing, then, no, that, I don't think that counts as an accident. It's just any form of damage to that bus counts as a crash, yeah. Okay? So um, I hope that answers that question for you. Um, I really do. If it doesn't, again, just hit me up. If I, if anything I'm saying doesn't sound too right to you, and if you know differently, then I would love to know. Um, all I've done is just play this game. I haven't even Googled it or nothing. I've just been doing this off my own, kind of just putting the hours in and, oh, okay, that does that, that does this. Yeah, just working it out for myself, yeah? Because the game doesn't tell you shit all, you know what I mean? So that covers all that um right so employees when they the little bastards they are aren't they eh? when they ask for pay rise my rule of thumb is my this is my rule of thumb and i'll tell you right now right let me just bring up my employees right just my drivers for example yeah now let's have a look at the top driver fine will i thought his name is will fine or fine will fine will oh, what's your name my name's fine anyway he, as you can see, when I when I hired this driver, his level, as you can see, which is 52 of 100, it was only like um, 14 or something. But because he's been with the company so long now, his level goes up, obviously, yeah? And, he, you know, anyway, the second um, the second thing down is, like I said, reliability. It's on 100%. Now, when I hired him, it wasn't 100%. He was something like um, 70%, I think. Um, it's because I've been keeping him happy. I've been giving him pay rises. Now, my general rule of thumb is, if they ask for a pay rise... And their reliability is good. Like, let's just say, like, okay, 78. Um, I will give them the pay rise, but I'll only give them 20 to 50, sorry, 50 to 100 as a pay rise. So, for example, here, he's getting 1,500. I'll give him 1,550. See, see how that goes, right? Now, they can refuse this. You've got to be careful because they can refuse it. And they can just walk away from your company as well. They can do that. And I've had one do that before. They say, oh, oh this is not enough. This is a joke. And they just walk off and you've lost them. It's not an issue because you have drivers are plenty and just wait for that golden hundred to appear again. It will do. So, um, yeah. So what I've been doing lately is give them a hundred pound increase a month. And that tends to be working in my favor, definitely. Um, and as you can see, so we've got the 52 over 100 is level. We've got reliability. I've got 100 over 100 for that one. And then the third line down is their happiness with, with you and the company itself, right? Now, he's at 48 percent he is. Now, what I suggest is, like, this is my tip, top tip, and definitely do this, right? Like, if you want to keep your drivers happy, if you want to keep them and just maintain them and, and that kind of stuff, right? Then when you're going around doing the services, stop off. If you see a bike, a bike um, sign, a bike, uh, stop off a bike shop, basically, a bike rental service, stop off and go and nab that, uh, discover that point, discover it. Because remember, when it, on the map, when it's greyed out, you actually haven't, you haven't discovered it. Like, for example, here, this container. 
I haven't, dis I haven't physically walked up to that and discovered that container. All these I have, that's why they're white, right? Anything you won't, haven't discovered will be gray like that, grayed out, yeah? All that means is that this container here, I've, so all I've got to do is walk up to it and, and just try the lock one time, that's all, and that, that will appear white. That will be like, it's discovered, yeah? And plus, it will tell you these things anyway. Say, so, oh, you discovered this, you discovered that, and then, yeah. All right, so what you're looking for to keep these employees happy is gyms, right? Gyms, is, this is one of them. So when you see the weight, the dumbbell thing, gyms here, as you can see, right? Discover those definitely. If you want to keep your employees, because it improves your employees' happiness, all right? Like it imp improves it so much, yeah? And the bike rentals, so I think there's one up here. Yeah, I'm sure there's one up here. Maybe not. But yeah, it's just the bike sign. It's just the bike logo. I mean, come on, you know, uh, just the bike. There we go. There's one there, look. There you go. When you see those, definitely just get out, stop the bus, get off, and just um, discover this, all right? It's well worth it, because that, improve, like I say, improves your, like, uh, blah, 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 improves your um, employee happiness. Yeah, so let's just quickly run down now, just to show you, because this one's only here anyway, so I might as well show you. This is the first one you get anyway, so boom, right. There you go. This gym will improve your employee satisfaction, yeah? As you can see right there. So, yeah, get all the gyms you can. Get all the um, bike rental services you can. That makes them happy, all right? Um, I'm not sure what else makes them happy, but that definitely does, those two there. Okay, so that covers that. Yeah, so basically it's just a case-by-case -case basis. You can charge, you can give them how much pay rise you want. It's entirely up to you, man, you know? Um, yeah, it's entirely up to you how much you give them. Right, so I hope that covers all those questions there on that one. I've got one last set of questions. I might as well do this all in one video to save um, any, you know, repeat videos and stuff like that. Right, um, right. Get up, set up sightseeing tours, yeah, and shuttle service. Okay, so, yes, let's do that for Mr. Simon, yeah? We'll do it. Uh, so setting up a shuttle tour, go to orders. And bear in mind, you have to unlock the shuttle service, which you unlock at level four, okay? You unlock the shuttles at level four and the sites in at level eight. So anyway, let's assume you, you obviously unlocked it, yeah. So, um, and remember, always remember, if you want to give these routes to your drivers, you physically have to drive the entire route from start to finish and finish it to get it approved, like these two here, yeah? I've driven these from start to finish and they're approved. I can now give those, I can outsource them to my drivers now and they can do it as well, all right? So, setting up a shuttle on tour, so let's just take this one for example, right, we'll take that. Right, I'm going to sign myself to it, and I'm going to take the old W906, I love it. Yep, that's done. Okay, I've done that now. So, that's assigned. So, let's go to the old schedule board, right? Okay, now we scroll across using L1, R1, or if you're on Xbox, LB, you know, the top shoulder buttons. Right button, left button. Yeah, so we scroll across to uh, shuttle services. Okay, now at the moment, obviously I'm assigned to this, yeah, no problem. Um, you can just, obviously, same as always, press square who you want to assign to it. And that's it, literally, that's, that is it, that's set up now. Um, yeah. Now, if it's a return, uh, if it's a return trip, it'll have, it'll have the return, it'll have two of these here. I think this is just a one-off thing then. No, sometimes some of them have a return, um, like you'll have two boxes here. One's going there, one's coming back, which I'm surprised this one doesn't have a coming back. But anyway, okay, no problem. Anyway, so yeah, you'll have two, so you just assign yourself to both of them. That's how you do that, literally, that's all that is. Literally, that's all it is. It's the same as always, setting that up, that's no problem. Right, now the sightseeing tours, right, how you set that up is, okay, let's, right, the first thing you've got to do is, forget the first sightseeing tours, forget that one, scroll straight past it and go to sightseeing planner, that's one you want, right? Okay, here's one I've previously set up before, um, what you want to do is press triangle to interact with the map, right? That's the first thing you do. Okay, I'm interacting with this map now. Oh, no, that's not the first thing you do, sorry. The first thing you want to do is, uh, let's say we want to add a, press square, like you've got the D-pad, right? You can move left and right. Basically, the first option is create a new tour. The second option is edit, the, edit a tour, we want the current tour you've got already. And then the last option is obviously delete a tour. So if we do now a new tour, just to show you, just for the purpose of the video, to press square, right, new sites in tour, there you go. We can rename it what we want by pressing triangle. We can call it like, I don't know, Let's just rename this one, shall we? Like, like, just real quick, do it like this. There you go. Cox tour. There you go. Right now, what <laughs> what you want to do is um, scroll, zoom in. 
Now, when you drive around the map, you'll be discovering loads of different uh, points of interest, like be it restaurants, hotels, um, site, you know, like casinos, whatever. You'll be discovering these things we can use on these sightseeing tours. You know, when you drive past, it's oh, it said new discovery made, new sightseeing discovery made. Yeah, it's for this, it's for this uh, part of the game. So what we're going to do now is you can literally pick a route, like pick where you want to go and what you want to show the people, basically on your tour. You're you're in charge of this. This is up to you now. So. Uh, for example, let's we'll start off by going to let's just say this restaurant, the Steakhouse, which is a free star, right? We'll do that, and then we'll stop off uh, a casino. There you go. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, make sure you get the right side of the road. That's the wrong side of the road, so it's very make sure of that. So get rid of that. Yeah, this is very important. Well, you don't want to, last thing you want to do is like double back on yourself. So try and get the right side of the road. Like you, you can tell because look, that's the right side. Yeah. Just zoom right in so you can see which way you're going. You don't want to like look like an ass when you're driving. Anyway, so yeah, we'll just go there. We'll we'll go down here. We'll stop off at another restaurant maybe if you want to. It's up to you, but whatever. Uh, let's just do that for the sake of argument. We'll just stop off at that restaurant as well. Then we'll go and do that, whatever. You know. Anyway, once your once your uh, route is made, you can just press square here and save and go back. There you go. That's saved now. I've got two uh, tours set up at the moment. I say right now okay so basically what you want to okay there's a couple of things to know here right if you in your tour if you put like a load of uh, let's say a load of one stars two stars of like restaurant and stuff right um <clears throat> you can only phone a two-star hotel kind of thing okay let me try and explain this right this restaurant here is four star right so now if you want to call a hotel so what you got to do once you build this tour you've got to call the hotel up and sell this tour to the hotel and it's whether they accept it or not. Now, if you go around um, picking up, I say, one star, one star like this, like one star restaurants and one star fucking real shit crap, you know, and then you phone up an expensive restaurant, uh, sorry, an expensive hotel, which is like a five star hotel, they're not going to accept your, um, they're not going to accept it. No chance because they need, they want a five star service. So they offer a five star service. They want a five star tour. So as you're going around, you'll unlock restaurants of different calibers. Uh, so like I'll try and try and find a five. That's two star, but you you get what I'm saying. Like, some are five star, some are yeah. So there's another sightseeing place there, but yeah, there you go, five star. So if I want to offer the best hotel, you know, the best uh, tour I can to the the, the 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 poshest hotel, then I've got to pick the best points on this map, the, the most poshest points. Yeah. So what you do now is <clears throat> let's go back. Right. Because you eat caravan tours, there you go. Now I'm going to call up the hotel. So I can just go like this. So hold the X button and call up. As I was saying, see, this is the part. This is the screen right here. Now these are different hotels around the scene, right? Now depending on what I've picked, like obviously this would be the easy one to do, the Hotel Shade, because they're one-star fucking hotel. So I could offer them just pure one-star crap, and I'm definitely accepted by them. But if I try and offer my my tour, my tour I think is about a, a, like averaging like a two-star or something like that. I don't know. Don't know. I know the next question will be like, well, how can you tell how many stars it is? Well, just go into, um, just have a look at your, uh, <clears throat> sorry, have a look. Just go over your thing and see what stars we've got. So, um, for example, that's a free star there. Uh, that's a, a free star there. So basically, mine looks like a bit, pretty much of a free star and a one star there. So mine's probably averaging a, a, a two star, maybe something like that. Do you know what I mean? So just, Try and stick to the, the, if you're doing free stars, just try and pick all restaurants that are free stars, really. I've just done that because it was like a, a close quarter thing. Anyway, I'm getting out of breath, man. Yes, yeah, so do that. Now, offer tour to the hotel. Now, watch what happens. If I try and offer that to this really lush Porta de Sol like hotel, if I try and offer that, let's see what happens, shall we? Let's call them up. Hold X to call them up. He's calling them now. Look. Do, 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 do. Hello, senora. There you go, right? There you go. Sites in tour refused. Point blank. Obviously, they refused it. Right. Reason. The average stars of the restaurants of the tour are too low. There you go. This is exactly what I was saying. So, absolute bullshit. So, if you want the big money and you want the, the you know, obviously, get the all the five-star restaurants and then just offer them to the uh, the five-star hotel. It makes total sense, you know. But on the other hand, if we offer it to a, a two-star, let's try a three-star. Let's see if we can get away with that. Because I've got a couple of three-stars on there. Let's try and call them up, shall we? Right, call them up and 
accept it. There you go. It's because I've got like a couple of um, I've got about three or four well three uh, three star restaurants. That's fine. Even I've got one star on there. It doesn't matter. Like we've got, I've got enough three stars to make it a three star. Do you know what I mean? So there you go. They've accepted. Awesome. So that's it. That offer is accepted. Yeah. Now. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. So yeah, there you go. That offer is accepted. Now, if we go to the site now, it will automatically put you back to the sites into the tab. These tabs, sites and tours. There you go. I've got one set up now. Now, how you set it up now? Just press square, assign a drive what you want to it. Dino, there you go. Uh, this other lines, the man lines in the city. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're going to have to hire a guide as well for the um, the guide. Obviously, you need a tour guide for the tour, yeah. To say, oh, if you look to your left and look to your right and senor, da, da, so you need that. So, obviously, you're going to have to hire a guide, yeah? I'll have to go, I'll have to show you that as well. So, uh, choose your guide. So, you select your driver, select your vehicle, select your guide with always square button. And accept that. There you go. That 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 tour is now booked on that day for that that amount for t that amount of time for that money. There you go. It's all booked. That's as, that's literally how you do it, right? So that's that. But yeah, make sure you hire a guide. It's gonna. It's part. It's mandatory anyway. So you go to orders and oh sorry, go to um the employees and the guides. Self-explanatory. They're there. Uh, go to the job market and they're right down the bottom. Normally, just scroll to the bottom. Oh. There you go, guide, 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 as you can see, guide, 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 guide. Now, one thing with guides, not all the time, but sometimes they want an apartment to live. Now, my advice to you is um, give them the most expensive apartment, right? Honestly, it's worth in Loma because I've had so many guys just refuse. Uh, right, okay, let me explain another thing as well, actually. Um, yeah, just give, just give them the most expensive uh, apartment, really. Um, you can tell by their, their kind of like their budget anyway, but yeah. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, normally I can't. I can't show. There's no example here. Oh yeah, here's an example. Here, okay, here's an example. Right. So this guide here, right here. See Joris Weber, right? Now, if you look his name, he's got his name Joris Weber underneath his age, uh, uh, 23 Weber. And then he's got a um, guide, and then underneath that, see, he's got like, 404 euros and a little house icon. Basically, what happens is, let's go through this right now, right? We click on. Click on the guide, like that, right? Now, right, look here, right? He, he wants 950, no, his wages wants 950 a month, no problem, right? The apartment he's looking for is somewhere in the region of 440, his rent. That's what he's looking for, right? He wants to pay like 440 rent a month, right? So, all these apartments here, I, I can select one uh, around that price. Let's just say, um, I don't know, 480, that's, that's a good, oh, no, maybe might not refuse that. I'll go for let's go first try that one basic living let's just try that shall we and see what happens see if he accepts it now sometimes if you go too low they just go no that's awful I'm not going to um, I'm not paying I'm not doing that so it's literally just luck on this part so we'll try this one 392 it's a little bit under the 440 but let's try it successful there you go um, yeah don't hot so that's basically their budget if you're right so so that's kind of is that okay is that have I explained that well that's their budget for the um for the month kind of thing that's the kind of pay the prices they want to pay for an apartment now you might say to yourself hold on a minute so how comes you've got all these up oh god look straight just hide him he's not happy anyway you might say to yourself hold on a minute why did you get these little how do you get all these apartments now okay so how you get them apartments is oh god <laughs> sorry <laughs> this, these apartments you get them by what happens is um right i can explain this yeah so when you arrive this area right what will happen is Sometimes, if you'll notice, you'll get this uh, message come up going, enter in search area for apartments. You must have um, seen that. If you haven't, let me know. But when you walk around and discover a hotel or something, you'll, you'll have this like blue circle, which will be like circling around here. Massive. If you look at the map, when you see that sign come up saying, now enter in search area of any description, press the touchpad and bring up this map, right? And what you'll see is a massive great blue circle going around here, right? Or just wherever it is at the time, right? Now, what you want to do is just get out of your bus and walk around, walk, just walk around the streets where the blue circle is circling that area, right? So, for example, for this one, the circle was about here, right? Yeah? And just walk around. And what happened is you'll notice pop-ups of, like, apartments. It'll just pop up and say, oh, this is, um, for example, this one, this is a minimal living. And you discover it. Press X to discover it. What that is means it's just potential uh, flats to hire out to drivers or staff, you know, any kind of stuff, mechanics, whatever, drivers, yeah, and guides, or whatever. So yeah, you want to discover those to add more to your list. You only do as many as you can, as many as you can. Uh, you, uh, sorry, 
as many of these discoveries you can do, the better for you, because then you're going to get like fussy people who want, you know, you'll have all different types of um, rent and, you know, uh, apartments with different prices of rent. And some depend on the location as well, all depends on location, like some down here are bloody expensive, you know, they're expensive apartments, you know. So, but that comes in handy because some people have like a budget of 1200 a month they want to pay, so they want a better apartment, do you know what I mean? So yeah, th these icons are all apartment icons, all these ones you can see with little, ha little house icons like that. Little player, uh, not player, but they're, uh, yeah, they're for the staff basically, yeah? So yeah, try and discover as many of those as possible to give you a, a, a vast array of uh, things to choose from. So when it comes up, you're not stuck with just like one apartment and you get refused because it's not like, it's too low or too high, you know? So yeah. That's basically it. Um, I know this has been a long video, but like I had a lot to cover, you know. So I hope just I, I hope it's been um, I hope it's helped. That's what I'm hoping for, you know. And uh, yeah, uh, there's not much more. I think I've filled most of the questions in now. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Hit me up. I'll do a video on it if I can, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, a stream. Um, I'll have to do a stream soon with you guys as well because um, I need a little catch up. See how everyone's doing with the game and that, you know. But uh, uh, like I said, I'm working, I work the weekends, so I do like the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So like I said before, um, I won't be doing streams on those days, but I'll do it on, I'll do any day from the, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, no problem. So I'll have, have to sort one out for one of those days, just so we can do a little catch up, you know what I mean? Yeah, but other than that, guys, um, I hope you're having a good time playing Tourist Bus, because it's a brilliant game, and all these little, these little details just make it even better, you know? So um, yeah, cool. I hope this has helped. I hope I haven't like blah 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 blah, and you're not understanding nothing. Um, if you have, like I say, if you have, then just hit me up again. No problem. I'll try and resolve anything, you know. But uh, all right, guys. Well, um, I'll see you in the next one, and I hope it helps. Take care.